Hey, what's up, people? Today is a great day. Because why? Because I got my brand new trainer. As, as you may know, Canadian weather is not always <laughs> the best weather for cyclists to ride outdoors. So, uh, for the past few months, I've been adjusting and I've been training uh, indoors on my trainer which I bought while still in Arizona of uh, the Craigslist I think I bought it for like 100 bucks or something let me show you so I bought it used it's called uh, Blackburn so it's a magnetic resistance trainer basically you just put your bike on you lock it in between these things then you have an option to choose one of three levels of magnetic resistance by just basically pulling this knob out and adjusting and uh, then you tighten this uh, wheel that's all I have a speed sensor from Garmin, cadence sensor from Garmin as well, and uh, heart rate strap. It's been working okay for the past four or five months, but uh, since I'm a elite class athlete, I need elite class equipment, and this brand new trainer is gonna the main reason why I bought it and uh, is to measure my power because right now uh, all my trainings are based uh, of the heart rate and uh, not so much from speed also I'm uh, using cadence the primary reason why I wanted a new trainer is to measure my power output and uh, you, as you may know, cyclists using watts to measure their power. And unfortunately, this dumb trainer won't let me measure it. So I had to go and search for smart trainer options. And uh, my coach, actually, Renee. Uh, since I started training with her, and it was like almost two years ago, she suggested buying a, a smart trainer right away, but when I saw the prices on those trainers, <laughs> I, uh, I've been postponing this purchase until now. And uh, another Another thing that bothers me with the, the trainer I have right now is that it's so loud. It's really loud. Let me show you. Okay, we've got the manual here. Do we need it? We do. So this is the app. You download from the app store.
Okay, so after I removed my old uh, trainer, the manual says that I need to replace my uh, original specialized quick release to the one that came along with the Wahoo. So you basically just uh, unscrew this thing so you can move the flywheel backwards then you put this uh, quick release into here and then uh, tighten it up so on the other side of the trainer and you will see this giant handle which is kind of cool so you just press it down and it secures your bike okay that's pretty sturdy and now you see there is a gap between the flywheel and your wheel so by adjusting this thing we move it back and forth so it gets in touch with your wheel okay I'm not gonna tie it in I'm not gonna do it too close nice so as you see it uses Bluetooth and the ANT Plus let's get this baby connected to the power okay so now that trainer is ready what you will need to connect it to your laptop and to Zwift eventually so you need a and receiver uh, it's a USB thing since I don't have a USB connection I don't have USB port on my Mac I gotta use the adapter We got connected right away. Uh, cadence will connect right now. Yeah. Another cool thing is that using the app, Wahoo app, you can connect your phone or iPad um, to the trainer and real time see the power.
just finished my first workout and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Now I got the feel uh, of what my power is. So uh, it's kind of cool to learn new things about myself. And uh, yeah, looking forward to my next workout. Pretty cool thing. Really happy with